In the story, the hero follows his grandfather's deathbed advice and writes a valedictory speech preaching humility. He is rewarded with an invitation to repeat the speech to the leading white citizens of the town. It was in the main ballroom of the leading hotel, and I was told that since I was to be there anyway, I might as well take part in the battle royal to be fought by some of my classmates as a part of the entertainment. The battle royal came first. I had some misgivings over the battle royal, by the way. I suspected that fighting a battle royal might detract from the dignity of my speech. In those pre-invisible days, I visualized myself as a potential Booker T. Washington. They were all there. Bankers, lawyers, judges, doctors, fire chiefs, teachers, merchants, even one of the more fashionable pastors. Bring on the shine, gentlemen. Bring on a little shine. <laughs> Do we not, boy? scene is a ritual that serves as an initiation for these young black men for what awaits them as black people in the South. Their aspirations, their opportunities are both defined by and limited by powerful whites around them. had arranged it among themselves. It was the custom for the two boys left in the ring to slug it out with each other for the winner's prize. I discovered this too late. After all of that battering, he gives his speech, and Ellison says, with his mouth dripping with blood, and this is the price you have to pay to give your speech, to, to say what you have to say. I spoke automatically and with such fervor that I did not realize that the men were still talking and laughing. Whenever I uttered a word of three or more syllables, a group of voices would yell for me to repeat it. Social responsibility. What's that word you say, boy? Social. Louder. Social. Louder. Responsibility. Repeat. Responsibility. <laughs> say that one more. Social responsibility. Social responsibility. One more time. Social what? equality. No doubt distracted by my having to gulp down blood, I made a mistake and yelled a word I'd often seen denounced in newspaper editorials, heard debated in private. You say that slowly, son. What, sir? What you just said. Social responsibility, sir. You sure that? Equality was a mistake? Oh, yes, sir. I was swallowing blood. All right. Now, go on with your speech. <laughs> when I finished, there was thundering applause. Now, boy, you take this prize and you take it well. And if you keep developing the way that you have, then one day it's going to be filled with important papers that will shape the destiny of your people. Go ahead. Open it up.
It was a scholarship to the State College for Negroes. That night I dreamed I was with my grandfather at the circus and that he refused to laugh at the clowns no matter what they did. Then later, he told me to open the briefcase. Open it. <laughs> Sorry, them years. <laughs> now open that one. Read it. Out loud. To whom it may concern, keep this nigger boy running. 